Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Harper and I'm excited to be your UF 200 instructor this summer. I use they them pronouns, so for example if you want to talk about the class you could say I'm taking UF 200 with online with Jeremy Harper and they make these goofy videos for us to watch. We'll talk more about gender and pronouns later this semester, but if you have any questions feel free to ask. I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. The first is just to welcome you to University Foundations 200, uh, to give you a chance to put a face and a voice to the words on the screen, um, and also to clear up a few common misconceptions about what exactly UF 200 is. So UF 200, a lot of people have this idea that UF 200 is just a repeat of UF 100, um, UF 100 the sequel. A lot of people also have an idea that all UF 200 courses are the same, so it doesn't really matter who you take it from, the only difference might be the personal style of the person teaching it. Neither of these things are really true, so I want to take a minute to talk about what exactly UF 200 is and how it's different from UF 100. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's no lecture component. There is no plenary discussion. Uh, that's one of the core structural elements in UF 100 is it's divided into a discussion groups and a lecture. Um, in our class, there's only the 25 students in the class. Those are the same people we'll be interacting with the entire time. We don't have this larger group portion. In face-to-face -face classes, it's usually 30 instead. Um, consequently, our, our class is a lot more discussion-based. Um, we'll talk more later about how exactly it can be discussion-based in an online class. Um, but for now, just know that you will be interacting with your peers a lot. The other major difference is that UF 200 focuses on social and ethical issues. So, UF 100, the classes varied a lot. Um, it's intellectual foundations. UF 200 is civic and ethical foundations. Every class has a different theme, depending on who's teaching it, but we all are going to be engaging with these core ideas of ethics. Uh, in our class, the theme is social inequality in the modern world. So we'll be using this lens of social inequality to answer and ask questions about the world around us. Um, kind of our big structuring questions this semester will be how is inequality created, how is it maintained, and what can you and I do to disrupt or uh, dismantle these forces and structures that maintain inequality. Basically, how can we make the world a little bit less unequal? It's a topic that I'm really excited about, um, but it's also a topic that brings certain challenges. Uh, as you can imagine, some of the things we talk about will be challenging topics to discuss. Uh, we'll talk about sexism, racism, the oppression of transgender people, uh, size-based oppression. We will talk a little bit about ableism. Um, basically, we're going to be talking about systemic inequality. And systemic inequality means that we will also be talking about systemic oppression and oftentimes different forms of violence. As I said, these can be challenging topics, but we'll be spending part of this first week figuring out how to have productive conversations about these topics um, and figuring out what exactly it means to be building a community around talking about these issues. One thing to keep in mind is that my goal is never going to be to change your views or convince you of a particular perspective. Rather, my goal is to provide opportunities for you to deepen your analysis of these issues so that you can have an even stronger analysis and make stronger arguments about these topics. Um, so with that in mind, the last thing I'd like to talk about is just a couple of tips for the semester, some things that'll help get you through this summer. Uh, the first thing to know is that Everything you need is on Blackboard. There's no textbook. Um, there's no outside materials you'll use. 
my goal was really to keep expenditures as low as possible, as close to zero as possible. I know that you're spending a lot on college, um, whether you are spending it now or whether you're taking out loans and you're going to have to pay it back later, you're already paying too much. So I didn't want to add to that. The one exception is that there might be one video that we watch. I'm still undecided and if we do, you'll have to spend $4 to rent it online. My second tip is to value your time this summer. Online classes, because there's not a designated time you have to be there, it can be really easy to allow them to kind of expand and fill up as much of your time as you let them. Uh, it's easy to get overwhelmed. I'm going to be a, providing a lot of supplementary resources in addition to the required things. Uh, just keep in mind that you can do those that you want or that you need to kind of deepen your understanding of particular issues, but you don't have to use all of them. Uh, also keep in mind that I'm going to try and have this course site be available to you long after the summer, uh, if at all possible, so that you can always come back and use these resources later. Um, the last kind of tip for this class is I really want you and me to think of each other as resources. Think of everyone in this class as resources. This is only my second time teaching online, so I really do expect to learn a lot, a lot about what it means to teach online, and also a lot about this topic. It's one of the reasons I love teaching UF200 is every time I take this class, um, or teach this class, I end up learning so much from my students. I really love grappling grappling with these issues with people. So I plan to learn a lot this summer and I hope that you do too. Um, and I really do believe that we'll learn the most if we see each other as resources. So that's all I really had to say. Um, expect a lot more of these videos. We'll be having probably at least one at the beginning of every module to kind of set up the week. I'm really looking forward to a great summer exploring these topics with you. Thank you so much. Have a good one.